you are over engineering your app and today we're going to talk about why and how that is. What we have here is the Flutter News Toolkit. This was recently announced with the new Flutter version. And from a personal standpoint, I think this is great in general. This just gives you more reusable components that you can incorporate into building your apps faster. What I don't particularly like is the example project that they provide. So let's head over to the code and I will show you some of the issues. So what we have here is just the folder for the news kit. Um, what I'm going to do is navigate into the example project. So this is all fine, let's open it. So here we have the lib folder. This is something that most of you are probably familiar with. What I don't like about this project is how it handles packages. Let's head over to Twitter and I'm going to show you a very good tweet that kind of sparked this video. So here we have Luke has made a tweet about kind of the pros and cons going over packages in a Flutter project. Uh, and I urge you in general to check out this tweet. I've already been active in it and left my own opinions. I urge you to leave your own. And as well, just if you want to, you can leave your opinions down below as well. I would love to be proven wrong in general here. Um, but in general, this kind of like adding many packages kind of has an overhead that isn't really spoken about. And I'm going to kind of outline the problems with packages. Um, let's make this a bit larger. So in general, we have kind of a couple of problems. The complexity. Um, I'm going to speak about all of this one by one, but let's let's kind of just outline some of those that I don't particularly like. We have the complexity. We also have um, slow analyzer. We also have CI. Let's actually go over this first. So we have the complexity. Let's just take a look at the project one more time. So here we have the packages folder. We have a bunch of packages. We have the app UI which in my opinion is fine. You can reuse, you just have your reusable components in its own package like the UI. We also have things like the article repository, authentication client. What actually adds complexity here is that as soon as you break something into a package, you also have to break kind of dependencies into its own package as well. And this can sound good in most scenarios. Let's for example, go into the article repository so what we have here is just three files. One is just a barrel file. So you could say that this is just actually two files. One is a storage implementation for local storage, and one is the actual repository doing the request to the API. Another thing you can see here is that we have just wrapped all of this. This is actually not done in here. This is done in the API client. So if we navigate here, we are actually in a new package. This could be fine, but you can kind of see how the complexity scales. If we go back again, we have the article storage. And as you see, we are dependent on a storage. If we check that, that's in another package. When you kind of wrap around this, you can see that every time we add a dependency, it has to be extracted into its own package. All of these packages has very little implementation. And you get a very complicated hierarchy. And as you can see, every time you add a new dependency, you're pretty much forced to put it into its own package, which has a lot of just complexity. You have to maintain a pubspec YAML file. You have a new readme. You have an analysis options to configure linting um, and so on. This, in my opinion, is the biggest one. But in general, let's just check the other ones as well. We have a slow analyzer. This can be hard to show now because I've already been into the pro this project. Um, what I mean with a slow analyzer is in general things like go to definition, navigate around in a project, check the implementation um, or the documentation of a specific class. In general, when you have all of these packages, it will take quite a lot of time for the language server to be able to do things like go to definition and things like that. We also have another point which is kind of hard to see in this scenario, but what you will actually notice when you start doing this to your own projects, in general, as soon as you add packages, the complexity of CI also grows. You can just imagine that if you would, for example, use code generation, 
multiple of these could have code generation in them, which means that the project that depends on them um, needs to have the code generation built on the previous package first. And the complexity of the CI would of course go up in that case. What I want you to know here is adding a package used for the future of the project isn't really a valid reason. You should have a valid reason for adding a package. For example, you might want to have some UI in a website that you can reference back to in your project. And you also want to use it in the project itself. Now you have an actual reusable package, which is the UI of the project. Another example is that if you, for example, have a code generation in your project and you don't want to run code generation on the entire uh, lib folder, you can map all of your code generated files into its own package and you can run code ge generation on that specific file, which makes it so that you don't have to rerun the code runner every time. Now you might have a bit better insight about why packages is not always the best solution and you should be aware of the pros and cons of using a package. In this video, I mostly went into the negatives or the cons of the package solution. Um, the reason for this is that most people you speak positive things about packages. You should break things out, you should break out the dependencies uh, and so on and so on. But I want you to know that there is a very big overhead about doing so. And you should be aware about why and when you're going to do it. But yeah, that was about it. I hope you liked this new approach of making a video. Uh, and let me know if you have any other topics that you would like me to speak about that isn't really covered anywhere else. I would love to just, yeah, I, I don't know, talk, talk trash, I guess.